Hello and welcome to Ian. And you might know I'm Porsche Knight from CFTV. And I'm here looking at some arena football. Now, this is not the football I'm used to. This is uh, men running around with a ball in their hands, which is amazing. Oh, oh, we've just had somebody trip over the cable. Um, this is live. This is proving it's live. We've got people here. Anyway, I've got one of the owners. Look at this. Look at this badge. Owner badge. Nate, hello. How are you? How are you doing tonight? Very good, thank you. It's a pleasure to meet you, hey, sir. Thank you for having me on here. So, you're an owner. What, what does that mean? Do you just sit around drinking beer, or do you manage to coach the team? <laughs> now, as far as the coaching, we have we have uh, Doug Miller, which is our head coach. Me and Kenny McIntyre, we let the coach do their own coaching. So we're we're just the ones that put the team together. Kenny McIntyre has always been the face of the Predators, and uh, he he brought it back. You know, and I was blessed to be you know be partners with Kenny. So he actually brought the team back. We have uh, Doug Miller that's coaching the players, putting the team together, so. That's fantastic. And so uh, how long have you been involved with the Predators? Well, ever since they started back in 91, I've always been a Predator fan. Um, they actually went away for a few years. And then uh, Kenny McIntyre last year approached me, asked me if I would like to be, you know, partner with them and, you know, wanted to bring the Predators back. And here we are. That's fantastic, and it's a good thing because we need more sporting events in Orlando that allow us to come out, cheer a team on, and drink more beer. It's really important. Very important. I tell you what, you will never find any more dedicated fans than a Predator fan. You know, these Predators have been with us through thick and thin, you know, over the years. And, you know, I mean, you can look right now just with us getting back into it with the turnout. There was actually a guy outside with a Predator mask. It was quite interesting. We, we, it was amazing how much actual merchandise is out there, and people are actually supporting the team massively. Yeah, there's quite a few Pred heads out there. They've been out there for quite a while. Um, like I said, we've had our dedicated fans. Orlando's always been a strong face for arena football. It's really good, really good. And the other thing is, I'm quite enjoy watching this because it's very easy to see what's going on on the pitch. It's a small pitch, so you can see exactly what's actually happening uh, without having to strain your eyes. It's pretty good. It's, it's a high-paced game, very interesting, so it keeps everybody on their toes. Anyway, we need to say thank you to our sponsors. Uh, we've got Porsche of Orlando South, uh, Tough Turf. Anyway, more information to come. Let's have a look what's going down downstairs. It's going to be good. Next time we're going to bring you in closer so people can go behind and have a You can continue the interview and you need to continue it. Okay, now what is happening down here? Um, okay. Jordan Edwards, our, the general manager, Pete Regulis, Eric Kohler in the box that work with us here in Orlando. In four years, we've been able to raise $3.6 million for cancer research. Thank you. We need every Predator fan that's here in the jungle tonight. As Pete said, December 21st, we're going to kick off at 2.30 in Orlando City Stadium. It'll be the first football game in that soccer stadium. You gotta come see that Saturday, December 1st. Every ticket helps us raise money for cancer research and these ladies. So one more time, give them a big hand. Thank you so much. We see you Saturday, December 21st. Thank you. Thank you, Alan. December 21st, mark it down. We're gonna party in Orlando City Soccer Stadium. Let's go cure. Let's, we can tackle this. Jamia. Big speak, ladies and gentlemen, also on the field, please welcome one of the hosts from Cycle Fever TV, Sean. Hey, hey, everybody, how you doing today? I said, how you doing today? That's what I like to hear. All right, well, we're going to play Cycle Fever TV's version of Hole in One. We've got Nick here and Tyler. Nick, what's your last name? Pierre. Pierre. Tyler? Uh, Josh Snow. Josh Snow. All right, guys. So we've got Brittany down there setting up the uh, cart for you. Okay? Come on up here, guys. 
All right, they're going to need some encouragement. They're taking this shot right here, no warm-ups. All right, one shot. Now, I said who's going to go first, and Nick, you threw Tyler under the bus and said he's going first. Okay. All right, Tyler. Come on up here, buddy. So, 35 yards down. Brittany's setting us up. Scott's setting us up. If you make it in the cart, you get $20,000 towards the purchase of a motorcycle from iMotorsports. Does that sound good? I said, does that sound good? All right, that's what I like to hear. All right, he's going to need some encouragement. It's Tyler. Tyler's going first. Let's hear it for Tyler. Tyler, 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 Tyler. Hey, Tyler. You know what? That's better than I could have done, and I'm not going to lie. Brittany, come on over here. Got a consolation prize for you, Tyler. Maybe we do. Maybe we don't. <laughs> All right. Nick, you ready? You, Tyler warmed it up for you. you. You got it now? You got it zeroed in? Zeroed in. All right, zeroed in. All right. Let's go, people. Nick, 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 Nick. Oh! Look at you. You hit the cart, Nick. Good job, everybody. All right. So the consolation prize from Ace Cafe, $25 gift certificates. Let's hear it for Nick and Tyler, everybody. Great job. And then you can see Cycle Fever TV on all your social media. And to all the moms out there, everybody from Cycle Fever TV wants to say Happy Mother's Day. Bye, everybody.